Hello, MJ. Well, hi, hi. How you doing? Good. Yeah, welcome back. Welcome home. You know, food is in Dugas quality because this camera's filled with all these Florida tapes I got to put up. Oh yeah. And then there's this big, you know, the huge dog in the world. Well, not yet. She's still a puppy, believe it or not. Why isn't there any light in here? Oh, I didn't even know we were going to be filming until a few seconds ago. So. And what are you doing? Uploading more videos for your? Yeah, uploading more videos. But no one would know what channel this is for, though. No. Good luck. You never find them. Yeah. Oh, thanks. Most of you won't, um... MJ. Don't know what that is. Yeah, I don't know what this is, so, um... Oh. Thanks. So, MJ, what's with this beard? Oh, the beard. Yeah, get closer so you can see it. Um, the beard... That beard, uh, it's actually more of a goatee. It is, in fact, for the, um... A movie. A movie we're doing. And we're filming stuff, and then he's going to add us in later. Do you know what I mean? Like we're filming sequences for Joe yep. Francis. Exactly. What's his, his name? And his last movie is coming out on DVD in, I think, August 12th, called Survival. Cool. Yes. <laughs> and have you done anything interesting while I was away? Has there been any new updates in your life? Oh, there's been quite a few. Um... What about the controversy of those videos you uploaded on your my, on your YouTube? Oh, those six ones of me sitting talking to, quote, one person? Yeah. Shoot, this rubbed off on me. I'm sorry. Um, the air quotes. I, um, yeah, those were meant to be sent to one person, and I didn't know how to share them when they were private, so I made them public, and then the person couldn't find them, and then, like, I just said, screw it, made it public, and what do you know? Everybody starts watching them, even though it says it's for one person. I know. And we weren't even going to do a video log today, but everyone was like, we want to see one. We want to see you out in public. Yeah. So here we, and we'll have to film it in lower quality because like I said, there's all these Florida things. And what was that a letter from? That, that was a letter. From the district attorney saying you're being shipped out. You could say that. No, it was from your girlfriend from online. What? And why is your beard orange down there? What's that about? I don't get it. Like my hair, seriously, it's weird. I have weird hair patterns. My hair is like usually like a light brown, and sometimes it becomes like a darker blonde. Um, this part's the same. This is like a brighter blonde. This part's like red, and if you look, this part right here is white for some reason. You're like Shaggy. You should do sh do the Shaggy voice like that. Zoinks! Scooby Doo, where are you? Over here. Yeah, it looks. I don't know. What the hell is that on the top of your antenna? That's figment. You know, from imagination, a dream come true with you Wait, and I me. I thought it was like a, it was Spyro the Dragon on drugs. Don't worry about what it is. All right. So, we'll see you at the next stop. See ya. And everyone, look at MJ's goatee. Oh. We're back at Einstein Bagels again, getting bagels, right? Yummy. Yeah, and you said to go, even though we're getting them live. So what are you talking you, about? I got more than you did. What were, yeah. talk, what were you talking about? Um, maybe because we were in that one beer festival, we met that cool guy at that incoming restaurant. We thought today, if we had time before, we were hoping to go to Wally today. We thought before we went, we could maybe go visit that guy again and actually learn his name this time. Oh, well, maybe. But uh, <coughs> feeling extraordinarily happy today. So, MJ, what did you got? An everything bagel? I think I did. I don't even remember. I just randomly was asking because I had no clue what I was talking about up there. Now, people, do you think MJ looks older or younger with this beard? Well, I think you look kind of older like a goatee. a guy from a goatee, whatever you call it. Like a guy from like 1976, and he'd be like a roadie for like the Rolling Stones. The beard would be like all over. Or something. And with that tie dye shirt and stuff, it's like, you, should, you look like I don't know. Like what? Kind of like a guy who has like not much going for with his life. Well, I think I should be quite the opposite. You know, how's the bagel? It's fine. What do you mean it's fine? What's wrong? Nothing. There's just someone out there I wish I could be sharing this with right now. I'm right here. Well, someone. MJ. What? You can tell everyone the guy's name. Burn. <laughs> MJ, chug that potato salad. Come on, come on. Well, should I finish chewing the one I'm already chugged the first time? 
Yeah. Chug it down, MJ. Come on, MJ, let's go. Let's see if I can fit this in my mouth. Like the Megafruit gum. <laughs> Look at this, MJ. By the time we were gone, you know, Forest Gulf Salad has been open. Oh, yeah. But AC Moore Arts and Crafts is open Sweet. and Circuit City. Circuit City. God, how many times are we going to go through this? I can call whatever I want. Yeah, but you know it's really Circuit City and you know it's really a good store. But can you believe that, you know, within the week and a half I was gone, Circuit City opened? Yes. And. It's funny. Remember when we were here that one time when this opened and we were filming that whole video and I and um, you disappeared. Oh yeah, I do. I always wondered what happened that day. That was a long time ago. I know it's funny. We've I been doing these things for a while now. I can't even remember what happened last week. It's like I don't know. It's like a new wacky zany adventure every week. Almost. I know. Do you want to go on AC more? Yeah, let's go to Arts and Crafts. I love Arts and Crafts. No. I know. Look at that kid. What? Look at that. what? I pointed that out. I'm looking at it. I'm like, that's wrong. What, what's with that? You want to get out of here right now? Yeah. Let's never go in this. Let's, let's never go in a craft store again. Yeah, it's like Michael's. See, I like this place more. Michael's has the higher aisles. It's cool, but it's the kind of place where I can only have fun for like five to ten minutes, and after that I just want to leave because I'm there. Once I was stuck there for three hours, and I had I wanted to like kill myself. MJ? Yeah? Don't need to speak abruptly about your world and life. I'm just saying. It's like a futuristic Circuit City. MJ, did you like that new improved advanced circuit city? Yeah, it was like watch, walking into the 22nd century or something. They even check your receipt as you leave. Yeah, I'm not used to that. I was about to walk out and the guy stops me and asks for my receipt. Yeah, I had that, they had the cool center with those screens. They had like a Wii and a PS3 and an Xbox and it was all um, set up and the way it was set, it was literally like we were in the future. It was really cool. Well, this thing is new. It's a new Circuit City. It literally opened yesterday. So yeah, I think yesterday it opened officially. So it's like um, they saw that grand opening sign up and those little fly, those cool flyers. But, but. Man, it's hot today. So glad I'm not doing yard work today. Or I'd like die. You work with your company, Shank and T. Cole's gar gardening. Yes. Why did you you park so far out here? I don't know, MJ. You know, remember I, we said before, this is the circuit right here. It used to be the Chuck E. Cheese where he filmed Don's date. No, Murph's date. Can you believe that now it's become Golf Galaxy? It's funny. It's funny. It's, and Staples has always been the, right there. It's just funny when you think about it. Right around the corner, isn't there like Toys R Us? It used to be, yeah. Babies R Us. And at F and M, that old drugstore. Yeah, that was. Slash, sort of marketing. That was AC Moore. Yeah, F and M might have been where. No, AC. No, no. What AC Moore is was was Kitty City. Well, Kitty City. No, no, not Kitty City. Toys R Us kid. What's it called? Kids R Us. Kids R Us. That was Kids R Us. Like AC it. Moore was Kids R Us. Kids that, R that, Us. Yeah, really, Kids R. Right it was there. Chuck E. Cheese. Staples, kids R. Chuck E. Cheese. Kids R Us. And then. Um, and then was it the F and M? Then F and M. And then that, then it was it used to be Metro down there, and now it's called kids Shoppers. You were totally knew what year it was when you walked in there. It was one of the best places. And that metro used to have Taco Bell in it. I know. It's kind of like it's one of those things that you would have had to have been there to see. If you ask people now, they won't remember. Like the whole thing about Wendy's, they used to have a salad and pasta bar, didn't they? People are like, what? They did. You told me you ate pasta there. Like they pasta. used to, but no one remembers about the Wendy's salad and pasta bar. I, I think I actually might have gotten like a thing of noodles there once. But uh, if anyone remembers that, let us know. I know. We told us said this once before, but I want to bring it back. I know. Charlie Sheen. MJ, what are you eating? Um, cookie dough bites. No, chocolate chip cookie dough bites. 
and so the second we got in the car, they're already all melty. That shows you how hot it is. You know what would be cool is if they all melted together, and then put them in an air conditioning room for about an hour, let them come to room temperature, and they'd all be stuck into one big cookie dough piece and just eat the whole thing. Like Gushers fruit snacks. I eat the whole, you know what I mean? How they're all stuck together in one big piece, you pull the whole thing out, and you just, you just shove the whole thing in your mouth. I think I know what you're saying. Thank you. Mrs. Simmons. A clue. Mrs. Simmons. MJ, look at this awful parking job I just did. It's like, I know, it's, you're not exactly in the lines, but as long as you're not really in anyone's way, that's all that's important. The lines are just a guide, MJ. It's like the line, it's like, it's just a guide, Sean. The line is, it's just, it's just a guide. I mean, Kevin. Everyone thinks your name's Kevin, Kevin now. I know you were talking about um, Shane Jensen's friend when you Kevin, were who's in those videos. Your name's not Kevin. My name, like, my name is M... Does M Kevin start with an M or a J? No, yeah. Yeah. But Kevin, Kevin starts with a K. Yeah, but Kelly... But that's my last... You already know my last name's Kelly. And we know your middle name is James. We've even said it before. Oh, yeah. But we don't know your first name. Yeah, my middle name is James. Because that's... All we know is your name is something... Something James Kelly. Yeah, it's pretty common, isn't it? And the thing is, the name is so typical and so in your face if you really think about it. Yeah, it's so like everywhere. I mean, it's not that hard to figure out. Let's think about someone who has that name. I know a good, I know a, um, a clue. All right. McConnelly. Listen to the coolest ice soundtrack we got for a buck at the Goodwill while we were getting some secret costumes, and you like it. I loved it. I've, I always knew I loved Vanilla Ice. And we got some erotic music with like nudity on the front. I know it's weird. It's you listen and it's like this classical music you'd hear in Run and Stimpy or something, and the one song just kept going. I thought it was gonna take up the whole side and of the tape. And we took all the windows down, put all the windows down, turned down the music as, as loud as it get, put down all the windows, and drove through these streets. And everyone looked at us real weird. It was like. Some like people were. I think when we had to turn around in the car place, this old guy was inside there in the dealer in the suit. He was sitting at a desk and he looks at us in the parking lot. He's like, "Look at us as we're turning around in there. We almost hit this guy with this crane." But um. What party city getting some secret supplies? I get it. You every time you you, you see city, you like to say shitty. So you have nothing against Circuit City. You just say that about everything. Yeah, like oh. Baltimore, Baltimore shitty. Yeah, um, New York shitty. Okay, I got it. It's just my way of saying things. Why I know Kitty Shitty? No, no, I know it's too good to say that. Uh, and Blockbuster Shitty, oh. Wait, but Blockbuster never had the word Shitty in it. Oh, never mind. And there's Little Caesars. Pizza, pizza. But uh, Party City is a pretty good place, though. It doesn't deserve to be called Shitty. Party Shitty. Actually, none of the places we named just deserve, deserve, deserve to be called that. No, I know. Do they think they have any gum here? No. Anyway, isn't it? What are we doing in here, MJ? Hey, folks. Um, we are looking for supplies for our next big video. We're not going to say, please, we're not saying what it is. No, we're not. But you folks might already know what it is. But when you find out, what, you see what it is, you'll know. Yeah, MJ, you look like a grown-ass man. Thank you. I'm always, I'm used to feeling. I always feel like a kid. I know. We're in here, look at Party City and the supplies and. Baby, chewing me. Funny spectacle. All these costumes are five bucks. Remember how, how you and me worked in a Halloween store for like two months? Don't you think about that sometimes? Yeah, yeah sometimes I think of how I miss it. We were Halloween store employees. Yeah. Employees. Some kind of problem. They look at pipe. Oh, the car called pipe and a button. No, it's a wise made out. 
You can buy any of these costumes, MJ, for only five bucks. Look, you can be a beer bong. A beer bong. It's yeah. Too bad they don't have the Rancho costumes anymore. Wait, this is real pointless. A blind referee. Look at this really crappy looking spider. That's why they didn't sell them, MJ, because they suck shit. MJ, do you remember when that used to be Caldor right over there? That was all Caldor? I remember the Caldor near the original Circuit City. You don't remember that Caldor here, though, much, do you? I didn't come here that much. No. But everyone, you know what? You know that Panera Bread right over there? You know who always goes to that Panera Bread right there? Who? Teachers. High school teachers. Oh, yeah. Uh, do, you, do you ever wonder if right now any high school teachers are watching us? Like, if anyone watching right now is a teacher of a school? If so, if you are, please post underneath. Yeah, don't you wonder that? Like, what if we have, like, a bunch of, like, elegant teachers watching us? I wonder that sometimes. You sort of look like a teacher. You kind of look like a, an art teacher now. A college art teacher. Or, you, or uh, you could teach photo, like Juan Castro. Something like that. All right, kids, let's do some prints. Some prints. I bet, what if Juan Castro watches these? If he does, hello Juan. Hey, Mr. Castro. We know your real name. And we, we like Juan better than just saying Mr. Yeah. This isn't Juan a cool name to say, like Juan Castro. It's like Mr. Bean, you never, with him you never know what his first name is. It's like, remember Don Juan? Yeah. Neil. Yeah. The Marco. So we're gonna go back to the house now. But at least we got back out in the town, you know what I mean? Yeah. The little a town the town video for everybody. Don't know how long it is though. No. At least we went in the town. Yeah. Look what happened. It's starting to pour rain now. We're going to have to walk in that? What do you mean? Well, to go to the movie? Well, the movie's not for a long time. It'll probably stop raining by then. Yeah. It's not that heavy. In Florida, though, it was a million times worse than this. Does the rain piss you off sometimes? Yeah, it gets in the way of things. At least it's not hot anymore. Yeah. I'm thankful for that. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but, well, you don't want the rain to... Okay. Hi, MJ. Hello. So we just finished filming all that, uh, you know what I mean, all that video. Yeah. How do you think all that went? Grandpa Seth. Grandpa Seth, yeah. A, sli a, a, a slightly younger Grandpa Seth. It's like Peter kept on running. Peter kept running, but it didn't matter how far he got. He didn't get anywhere. When you think about it, Troll 2 really is a great movie. It's one, it's one of those beautiful things that such human is. What's funny is at one point, Troll 2, remember like in the very, 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 very beginning, nobody knew what the fuck it was. I know. Except us. And then suddenly, it became like a phenomenon. And the thing is, you and me were like the first Troll fans, when you really think about it. Like Napoleon Dynamite, before that became a fad, like, Hot Topic movie. Like, we saw it before anybody even knew what it was, remember? Yeah, I saw it in theaters, um, like, two and a half months before it actually came out. I, I think I saw it in theaters more than I saw anything else, though. I saw it once, that f preview showing, and then I went to see it again with you, and then you and me went to see it again to see the end, you know, the alternate ending. Oh, yeah. And I saw the alternate ending again with my parents. What, we did see it? I saw it twice with you? I think you did. Huh. I think we went to see it at the Charles Theater. I know one of them, we saw it, like one of them was a real exotic theater. I know, we saw it a lot. I know. And you know what, I saw Nacho, Cheese Flair Duos, I saw that one like four times. That one didn't catch on the way Napoleon Dynamite did. People didn't like that for some reason, but I thought it was good. I, I, I thought it was funny. I liked it, it wasn't like the greatest thing of all time, but I liked it. You I'd, think, like, I'd like to see a sequel to Napoleon Dynamite. People said, are you going to see the new disaster movie, or are you going to skip it? I'm like, no, we see all the spoofs. We see all of them, so... Even if they're shitty and we know it beforehand, we would have seen it anyway to say we saw it. Yeah, one guy online put, like, um, explained that, um, the, um, he said, like, the whole, like, people who, like, made the array of the two people who did, like, date movie, epic movie, meet the Spartans, he says, like, um, like, I posted on it. He, he explained how they're not even really good, like, real spoofs. He says, you want to see a real good spoof, like, Airplane, like, the Mel Brooks film, Spaceballs, um, you know, those movies. He says, those are what a real spoof is. And we got into it, and I said, you know, like, the way he was talking about it, I said, other than Epic Movie, I said, actually, that had somewhat of a good quality to it, but beyond that, like, I agreed on everything he said. 
Scary movie though, two and three. Though, but see, the thing is, the spoofs nowadays are more like they take the scene and twist it around in a weird way. It's almost like they spoof, like they just spoof the small things about it and then like add whatever's out right like now. Like add extensions to it and go, oh, Hannah Montana, oh, Britney Spears. You know what I mean? They just exactly. add That's like what the, he said. They add the flavors of the month to it. Exactly. And he even said he says and they're spoofing Hancock, which isn't even out yet. And they spoof. They spoof. They spoof it on like what they think and stuff. Anyway, he said based off of, he says, all you have to do is watch the trailer and you already get a good idea. He says, you know, they just look at the trailer and they spoof it based off of that. Have you seen that disaster movie yet? It's not even out yet, is it? No, the trailer. Oh, the trailer, no. No. I always wonder one day if like those guys might say, we want you in our movie and I don't want to like bad mouth them and you know what I mean? Because I'd be in it. I'd be like, okay, I'll do it. I mean, no, I want to see, like, I, I want to see like the guys who did superhero movie do another film. Yeah, those, they were the best ones. Like, they knew how to do it. Like, see, really I always wanted to be in a spoof movie, haven't you? I know, imagine like what it would be like. I mean, some of the stuff we do is already kind of like that in a way. Someone said our Iron Man spoof is better than the one in the disaster movie. The trailer for it. The Iron Man spoof? Yeah. You mean? Our Iron Man one. Oh, our, our one. Yeah. Wow. Wouldn't, wouldn't it be funny if they like ripped off some of our things and put it in it? Yeah, I have a feeling some people, some big people in Hollywood have done that. I just get this feeling, like, you know, they won't like come out and say it, but not just us, like other people on the internet. I feel like they get the idea from that and think, well, this is really good, but if I don't say anything about it, I don't know if anyone's going to notice. Look, look, remember that festival we were at, MJ? Yeah. The beer, look at it now. It's all wild and crazy. It's jumping around. I forgot we can walk on the street. Yeah. MJ, are you going to go in the moon bounce? No, it's too crowded. Go ahead, MJ, go moon bounce. Well, maybe you're going to. I'll pop the thing like Respusa did. So how you doing? How you doing? Norbert. It's slippery on here or something. Moon bounce. Come on, MJ, go moon bounce. Peer pressure, I hate peer pressure. Come on, MJ. All of YouTube wants to see you moon bounce. Do they? Yeah. They all do, so go do it. He wants to see you moon bounce, he's looking. He knows you. Who? That guy back there. He wants to see a moon bounce. So moon bounce for all these people. Do you see all these people, MJ? You cut it out. They all want you to moon bounce. Damn, MJ, moon bounce. Come on, MJ. You got a moon bounce, baby. Come on. Hey, anyone want to see MJ moon bounce? Does anyone want well, you to to get that kid? You just about killed him. Go moon bounce, MJ. Fuck you. Go moon bounce for all those people. They're all your captive audience. He no. He said he wants you to. See, he just looked. See, he wants you to moon bounce, baby. <laughs> MJ, I'm just giving you a lot of shit. MJ, I am so disappointed that you didn't moon bounce. Everyone on the YouTube is mad that you didn't moon bounce. Oh, really? How do we know? I'm sure they're going to comment. Everyone, if you're mad... I'm going to feel real sheepish if there's like a whole bunch of comments under that saying, I wish you did. They're all going to say, I wish MJ moon bounce. And then you're going to write back, I didn't want to. So I didn't feel like it. Don't make so many I moon bounce. I didn't feel like doing something I didn't want to do. You know who's there tonight? In Sebastian Nun, In Subordination Fest. Over there is the In Subordination Fest. Do you know that, MJ? Do you know what insubordination means? No, I don't know who the hell it is. Do you know what insubordination means? I don't know either. Yeah, I know what it means. I just, I don't know who the band is. Oh. Wanna go on Legends Comics? I'm fine. There's a, uh... And we're gonna go see, you know, Wally! I'm real excited about that. I know. I'm real excited. At the AMC, Commons. We're gonna go get the tickets first, I guess. Yeah, and then we get food. Go, go, go! Come on. It's a really busy Wowson day, isn't it? It's been a while since I've been here. Busy out here. And I see how they put it there. It's like wall. It's like wall e. You know what I mean? Wall. If you don't, if you is silent. And everyone disliked you, Love Guru. I loved it. You haven't seen it yet, but it's great. I like it. You said it was actually even better than Zohan? What's I guess this? when I think of that Zohan, I was like, what's, what's this say? 
What's that? Rotunda. Closed. Can we open the door? I think he's talking about like a main park or something. What is a rotunda? It's like, like the main, you know, the center. Oh. Dynasty. MJ, did you enjoy your strawberry acre? I am enjoying. You didn't even have your ID with you today. They gave it to yeah, you anyway. I left it on my, in my dresser because I've never needed it because you've been gone so long and I forgot. So he just gave it to me. He figured, well, this, I think this guy's at least 21. I think he thinks you're at least 31. Maybe not, maybe even 41. Except everyone else does. Yep. MJ, I think there was a little bit more booze in that acre than we thought. Yeah. Aren't you kind of flying a bit? This way, MJ, we're going to look down at this new place. What are you doing? Then we used to always eat in there, and they used to always laugh at us. There in that slippery ice. We hadn't really gone in since. Yeah. Where are we going now? I was looking at this thing. Look, the blue grotto. It's a new restaurant coming soon, MJ. The blue grotto. Wasn't this originally um, Sunny Surplus? Yeah. Now it's turning into the blue grotto. I don't know if I'm keen on that. Like Tom Wyckoff goes to the Blue Guado. Mountain What's this kind of weirdy pebbly stuff look? I don't know. Does it have like a weird feel and texture to it? Yeah. Come on, MJ, watch the street. <laughs> didn't it, look, look, didn't there used to be like a Dumpster right there? They got rid of it. Why, MJ, why? I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. I don't know either. What'd you think of Wally, MJ? Boy, words alone could not describe how incredible that was. I think it's the greatest picture of a movie they've ever done. I know. And it's absolutely a must-see. Yeah. I don't even want to say anything about it to review it. I just want to say see it. It's that good, you just need to see it. I know, I just... I give it, like... A zillion stars. Yeah, better than sex. And didn't you think that it has some of the best, like some of the best music you've heard in years? Music, effects, story, you know. And you may like, cry a million times. Yeah, I cry, I'm gonna admit, I cried like you wouldn't believe in so many parts. Just say, see it. See You've it. You've gotta see You'd it. You'd be a fool not to see it. This time we recommend it. Fully.